The national leadership of uh, the Christian Association of Nigeria has declared a week of prayers for the nation over the current insecurity challenge. Kaduna State in recent times has been in the news over the insecurity issues ranging from incessant killings, kidnappings for ransom, banditry and other related crimes. Here is the detail in this report as presented from our studios. Christian faithful in Kaduna State have held special prayers for peace and other challenges confronting the nation. They clad in black and tagged the prayers for insecurity and restoration of peace in Kaduna and Nigeria at Equa Church, Kaduna. The state can chairman Reverend Joseph Hayab says the prayers becomes necessary considering the unpleasant happenings in the state and other parts of the country. He argues that Nigeria is at war, even if it's not a physical battle, but a battle with conscience, peace and unity of the people. The challenge of insecurity, the instability in our land, the lack of positive progress that we can visibly see, even as we march towards another day that government was sworn in for Christians all over Nigeria to fast and pray to seek the face of the Lord concerning this country and to also challenge ourselves on the need to act responsibly as citizens. My call to my people in Nigeria, particularly in Kaduna State, is for us to be more prayerful. We need to seek the face of God with the situation we have found ourselves, a lot of trials and temptation. We have been pushed to the wall and every angle is boiling. There's no doubt that uh, we are not in the best of times today. And there's no doubt that we do not have challenges, but there's no challenge that cannot be uh, surmounted by understanding, by dialogue, by discussions, mutual discussions, truth, 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 truth discussions, opening up to ourselves and uh, by the grace of God, light, when light sets in, darkness will certainly will disappear. The leaders express sadness over huge amount of money paid to secure the Greenfield students. They say government that doesn't take pride in securing her citizens only come out to issue a statement after the people have paid over 150 million naira and bought motorcycles that is less than 500,000 naira. And we got news from parents of the Greenfield University because we even prayed for the Greenfield University last Sunday and their parents now call us that day too. This is the idea of rejoicing. We celebrate with them. The most important thing is that we thank God they are saved, though they told us the money they paid, the things they did, which shows that we really have a long way to go if our government will be truly a government. According to these religious leaders, enough is enough of the carnage and an end must be devised to all the criminalities. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.